What's up YouTube, hello fellow questers, this is Artem from Germany featuring Marvel Puzzle Quest and today is about the end of the current season, as you can see the time gem season will be finished in about 13 hours and 56 minutes, so if you're trying to claim any rewards now is your time to do that, so far have you cleared everything in a shield simulator? As you know, you need here 74 wins in order to get your 4 star reward. And what about the season itself? Did you amass a total of 350? Was it? No, 340 wins in order to get 15 command points. Let me know in the comments down below how your time jam season was. And this video is also mentioning the last event, except the fist bump with Iron Fist, the last event being, uh, um, not the last event, the first event out of uh, the time jam season. It is the event I just clicked on. What's his name in balance of power in, in English. So what's this event about? In this event, every character you possess is empowered to the max level of 550 and the rewards are the following just like in any other uh, season pvp event so you will start with one token standard and then up to a four star reward if you are in the higher shield ranks all right and what's so special I just announced is that all of your characters are empowered to the maximum level of the game so it doesn't really matter which character you use there is no required character in this PvP event so you can choose whatever you want as you can see all my characters have that red ISO icon on the top left of their picture so all of them are maximum capacity and I want to show you how the fight usually goes, so let's see, uh, who may I fight, so there are a lot of nasty trios out there, and in order to avoid that, I will, I think I might do this one, so this um, one is featuring my trio of Loki, Iron Man, and Rocket and Groot, Rocket and Groot mainly as our tank and Loki to steal colors and shuffle the board. Alright, so let's see what we should avoid. So red is out of the question and let's deal first with Scarlet Witch. Alright, so... There are a lot of uh, team combinations you can do in this PvP event. So go for whatever you like, try out whatever you want at maximum capacity in order to see how the synergy between certain characters work. And let's go right away, shake the board just because I can do it and see if I can match something. Yes, that's great. All right, so the plan is to get uh, yellow ta uh, yellow stash AP in order to activate Iron Man's yellow ability and generate some red and blue so I can one-shot the enemies. Um, but it seems like yellow is pretty rare on the board currently. All right, but... That's not a big problem, so let's see what I can take. Yeah, I'll take another red, even though it will fuel the enemy's purple. No, come on. Nasty thing. Okay, here goes red. Uh, yellow, sorry. Here goes yellow. Activate it. Wait. Or two turns. So the plan is to take out Scarlet Witch uh, and her nasty countdown tile and that purple stun ability that is also AOE. And after that, I'll just go straight to Spider Man because his yellow 
active ability becomes nasty whenever somebody is down it is the damage is literally doubled so first off kill the weakest link in this case it's scarlet witch oh come on what is this oh close and now loki's passive comes in handy <laughs> All right, let's shake the board. I mean, let's shuffle it and do some damage. Okay, I think I might do this and generate some strike tiles on the board. Purple, how much? Oh, yeah, I just have to wait for that. Hmm, all right. Uh, yeah. I think she might use her... her purple ability. Yes, oh, that hurts a lot. The thing is, two characters are st stunned currently. No, three. Uh, that's not good. All right, Let's kill her. Almost. Damn that projectile on the board. Have to get rid of that. Mm, 12 purple. How much does she need? Two more. There is no available match. So those rounds might be longer than the usual PvP rounds depending on who you are up against. So don't be too discouraged if you lose two or three times. Um, yeah. I think, I think I'll go for I think I'll go with this against Captain Marvel. And yep. That four stun four round stun to Rocket and Groot is pretty nasty. I'd rather have him unstunned in order to use his ability. Ah shit. Hurts. Uh, not that great. Okay, how to get out of this? Oh, 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 arcane, oh shit, Loki is down. Well, I might, might lose this one here. Yeah? It seems like I will. Oh. Yep, and I lost. <laughs> See, guys, just what I told you 30, 40 seconds ago. So, I'm not too discouraged. I still want to do one more fight in order to win and get 10 command points. That's my goal for this video. It was originally. So, let's try this out. Let's try something else out. Okay, let's go with Gamora. Who should I take? Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Gamora is great with. Hold up. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's go with Peggy Carter. And maybe with Doctor Strange. I don't have green covered, but it's alright. And aim for. The weakest link in this case it is Wolverine. All right, let's go. Yeah, so um,
Nice, match five. That's what I need, that's what I want. Um, four eight. All right, let's stun him. And the stun triggered Gamora's passive blue ability. Whenever somebody is st stunned, she will create a special tile on the board. As you can see, nope, not this one, this one. Yeah, so red would be great. Okay, he's going for green. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Not a problem. Let's generate some special tiles, or let's create some. And go straight to this one. Oh, the sweet damage. That's great. All right. Whom should I get? Might as well stun this. One down, two to go. <laughs> there is no available red. Now let's go for yellow. Alright, Flames of the 14. Um, what's there to match? I want to match away my purple special tiles, so I'll go for this one. Oh, oh, oh. I remember that his black ability is nasty. Oh, and a team up ability. Alright. Yeah, almost, almost great. Just, just don't, don't die. <laughs> I mean, if Strange dies, it's not a problem. Rather him than somebody else. Okay, let's stun him. Two turns. I mean. Gamora is really great with her stun, her uh, special tile creation, and her damage with the red, especially when she's empowered to max level. So you should definitely, if you're aiming to um, get all the 40 wins of this PvP, you might uh, use her a lot. She's definitely useful. Alright, and he's almost done. And that's it. Nice, very nice. I might uh, switch Strange with somebody else, maybe a tank. Okay, that was great. Oh, and a green patch Wolverine ability, cool. And there you go, 10 command points. Let's redeem those points and see if I get something nice out of pulling a legendary. Nope. Heck, all right, wish me luck, YouTube and fellow questions. Fingers crossed. Four star. Oh, Captain Marvel, she is one of my champions, so this cover is not going to waste. Great. There you go, and I think it's the first one. Nice. So I will do another poll just because I can. All right, maybe this time five star Gambit. Come on, no. Wolverine black, ah shit, I already have him with five black, so as you can see, yesterday my three star Wolvi gave me a black four star as a reward when I added one more level to him, and another Wolverine, so that's not great, actually, so what's my four star Wolverine, he is at 11 covers so in order to use those two i would need at least 240 command points in order to gain some level on him but i guess i don't 
I don't want to do that. And maybe I'll, maybe I'll be lucky and pull another four star Wolverine. Maybe a yellow or a green would be nice. But that's actually it. So try out this PvP event, balance of power. Have fun with it. Watch out because another video is coming today. My Yelena Beola one. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you've liked the video, please leave a like, leave a comment, share this video, subscribe to my channel for more content. And as always, keep on questing. Thanks for watching so far and I wish you a good day. Bye.